Hey, welcome back. This video is going to go through how you create a new charter booking product. So I'm going to go up here to new and instead of choosing page or post, I'm going to choose product. And that's going to come up and I'm going to do the afternoon half day sale. Now I'm going to skip through all the making it look pretty and stuff. You want to make sure you categorize it as a sailing charter. Um, I'm going to set a little image for the product, but not a bunch of them, just one. Let's see. This is a good one. Um, and then the next thing you need to do is type in some short description and choose your product booking. Okay, so you want to change it from a simple product to a charter booking. So these are the product types, and you want it to be a charter booking. Our price for afternoon is the same as our price for um, morning. So you want to set your full price, your reservation being your final balance, choose your location. Even though there's only one in light, you still have to choose it. Um, and then you're actually, I'm going to do a sunset sale so you can see that work. And it's not, it's $3.95. And it is a sunset sale. You have to still set a time because there has to be a default in the system. So if something goes wrong with the API, it still has something in there. Um, okay, so what this is going to do is you told it here that it's a sunset cruise. So if you check out the sunset API, oh, we're not using that anymore. Anyway, the start time below is ignored as long as the sunset is calculated properly. So um, you've set four hours. So the way this thing works is it calculates the sunset time for the location and date of the charter, and then it backs out the start time from the duration so that you come back to the dock at civil twilight, which is usually about half an hour after sunset. But that's when the light show is the prettiest is between when the sun hits the horizon and civil twilight. So that's when you want to be out there sailing and you also want to get back to the dark, dock before dark. So that's how we set that up. So like, let's say that the charters, um, the sunset was at 6 p.m. You and you're doing a four hour charter. Um, you would go out at 2 or at 2.30 probably. But it's going to do all that math for you. You don't have to worry about it. Um, and it's going to put you back at the dock right at Civil Twilight. And I'm going to publish that so you can see it in action. And that's all there is to it. I mean, really, it's not hard to set up a, pro a charter booking product. It's the same as any other kind of product with probably just about fewer settings. Um, so let's view this product which isn't going to look like a sunset. Okay, isn't that a beautiful description there? Okay, so <clears throat> I don't know if you remember that we booked a morning sale, but it doesn't conflict with the sunset sale. So even though the sunset sale is a four-hour sale coming back at Civil Twilight, it starts around when it says it departs at 1.18 p.m., and we have a default 30-minute buffer built into the system <laughs> between charters. So that means that you could take a morning sale that day if someone books it and still go out and make your sunset sale, which is great. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead here to the 28th and see what happens to the departure time. Look, it's one it's one minute earlier. And that's just because in the background it's doing that math. So let's go ahead and hit book now and see what the customer sees. So they're going to actually see that the sun sets at 450. So they're going out at 1, the sun sets at 450. So that, that's how the sunset product thing works. The rest of it is exactly the same. But I just wanted you to see how easy it is to actually set up um, a new charter. It's like 1, 2, 3. Okay, so here we are. We've got a morning half day set up and a sunset sale. And this is our shop page. And it's just going to show the guests every different option that they have for booking. And that's about it, guys. Um, I'll leave you with it. And in the next video, I don't know. I think we're done. Um, I think we're done. Okay. Perfect. Please check out the pro version of the uh, plugin because um, mom's got to eat. But also... Um,
it does all of these things that are kind of default and locked into the system, like what days you're open, how long your charters, um, dur charter durations are, um, blackout dates and things like that are available in the other version for you to control the buffer between charters. If it takes you an hour to turn around, you can, you can control that in the pro version. So check it out and hopefully you'll upgrade. <laughs>